It has been 11 days now since a fleeing iPhone thief killed a 68 year old woman when he knocked her down a flight of stairs at a CTA L stop. The killer of Sally Katona King is still on the run, but as CBS 2's Mike Parker reports, technology may help Chicago police in their manhunt. Police have released this sketch of the suspect they're seeking, but detectives in Area 3 are not talking about precisely what steps they're taking to find him. A private eye at MSI Detective Services in Chicago believes police must be making a serious effort to track the stolen iPhone. The devices are not just phones, they're also mini computers with individual identities and tracking systems. There's something called the IMEI number that's sort of the like the serial number of the, of the phone. So even if the SIM card or something like that has been changed, it's still trackable using the IMEI number. And there's a GPS built into every iPhone, right. yes? Right, yes. And that'll help? That, of course, will help, yes. And would you assume that the police are making oh, every definitely. effort to track I'm sure. it like this? We're still working and we need the community help. A community activist who's helped put together a $1,000 reward for the arrest of the killer was passing out flyers at the L station and telling CTA riders who may have been victims of theft on the trains in the past to tell police about it. They may be able to backtrack and look at some of the surveillance of whatever station you was at, and this person may be on this video. Think about it. You may be the key. If it's a date and a time that you can come up with, there's some video surveillance, we may have a match. And Mike tells us that the $1,000 reward may soon be increased and that Holmes is trying to find other businesses and community groups to get involved.